So our topics for today are, first of all, what is iridology? Some of you may have heard of it, some of you perhaps haven't. So we're going to be looking at what it is and how it came about, the major developers and researchers in the field and what we know from them, and of course, basic theory. Now, there's a lot of theory in iridology as we go through the six lectures. Um, we're only going to get very basic, but we're going to give you an overview of the iridology theory and a little bit of a preview of some of the things that we'll be looking at later on. We're going to introduce you to the iris reflex chart, as it's called. And some of you may already know that there is a, a map, if you like, of all the organs of the body that we can superimpose over the iris to guide us in our diagnosis. So we'll be taking a, a look at a very simple version of that in this introductory lecture. Then we're going to go into the whole area of consultation and how we actually use iridology in practice. And that will involve having a look at the consultation model, if you like, the uh, order of of, of procedure in an iridology consultation and a naturopathy consultation and also the use of simple iridology equipment so that by the end of the lecture we hope to get you actually practicing with some of this as well and getting used to using a torch and, and magnifier for example so that you can begin to do your own iridology examinations. Now the most important thing that I've got to say about this course is that it is very practical. To be sure there's theory and there's things that you need to understand but as soon as you've got each piece of theory you're going to go out and uh, need to go out and test it. In order to do that there are a couple of pieces of essential kit which we need you to have. One is the torch and loop. That word loop as we'll find out later it's a German word actually that means uh, a magnifier. And the thing about this particular piece of kit is that it incorporates a torch and a magnifying glass all in one. It's a little bit like a reading glass, but, but smaller and set up specifically to look at the iris of the eye. So in other words, when you bring the torch up to the eye, the light is in the right place to illuminate what you need to see, which is that coloured portion of the eye that we call the iris. Now these are available, in fact, from CNM head office, so all you need to do is to email or phone in to, uh, to the college and we can arrange for you to buy one direct. If you want to buy your own, they can be sourced uh, online, for example, uh, you'll need about a 10 times magnification, that's what we're looking for. That's about the right level of magnification for a manual iridology examination. And the other bit of kit that I suggest you furnish yourself with is a copy of my book, Practical Iridology. Lots of lovely colour pictures in there to supplement the material that we'll be showing you on the slides. Lots of therapeutic suggestions that go with each iris type, for example. Some um, detoxification protocols at the end of the book in case you need to uh, check those out as well. Uh, now, in the UK and Europe, I am the sole um, distributor or seller of this book. If you're in America you can also get them from Whitman Books uh, but write to me at the address that we see on the screen here Herbal Med Director at naturopathy-uk.com If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses head to www.naturopathy.com hyphen uk.com